good evening and welcome to this webinar on sepsis and uh, the antibiotics on ra online uh, the topic for today would be the interpretation of antibiogram and how to choose an antibiotic. Though there are two topics, both these topics will be merged and I shall be discussing both these topics together. Now, as far as the microbiologists go, uh, we provide information with which physicians diagnose and treat infectious diseases. We also give information on communicable and notifiable diseases, but most importantly, we help you in the choice of antibiotics. Now, we all know that antibiotic susceptibility testing and choosing the right antibiotic has got a lot of implications in the mortality rate, the number of tests and imaging procedures that are performed on every patient, the days the patient spend in the intensive care unit or in the wards and also the total cost of hospitalization and the antibiotic per se. Now antibiotics are not magic vans. On the one hand you expect clinical cure from an antibiotic but on the other hand there are also some adverse consequences like you know selection of antibiotic resistance by the non-pathogenic bacteria and of course the toxicity and the side effects that go with every antibiotic that we have on the face of earth today. Now the thumb rules would be that you use an antibiotic only when you suspect an infection and not just just in case use. You have to choose the right one which will be active against the pathogen that you are expecting to be causing the illness. The most important one is to ascertain if it can penetrate the site of infection. That is very important. You need to know whether the antibiotic will reach the site of infection. And of course, you have to adhere to the right doses and the duration of the antibiotic. And it goes without saying that in very serious infections, you go for the broad spectrum antibiotic and de-escalate once the patient improves, there is clinical improvement and once you receive the culture reports. So the basic assumptions for use of an antibiotic would be that you choose a least costly and, and, and the most effective drug. You choose a drug which has got a very suitable dosing schedule and of course you choose the safest drug with the least interactions with the other drugs that the patient may be receiving. 